Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. In this tutorial, we will use the free version of Glary Utilities for Windows to encrypt files and folders with a password, preventing access from unauthorized users and keeping out prying eyes. If you followed our last tutorial on secure file deletion, or you already have Glary Utilities installed, you may wish to jump to the timecode shown on screen to bypass the installation information. We begin by launching our browser, Google Chrome, and navigating to the Glary Utilities homepage shown on screen now and in the written description accompanying this video. We click on the large green Download Now button. Whilst we read the thank you message, a small 17 megabyte installer quickly downloads. We clear the message by clicking in the upper right corner, and we click on the upward pointing arrow to display a menu from which we select the option to open. As is typical, user account control will seek confirmation of our intention to install an application, and as this clearly was our intention, we click yes to advance. The setup wizard appears, and to avoid distractions we close the browser window still running in the background. With the browser window closed, we click next to proceed. As is customary, Acceptance of the license terms is required in order to proceed with the installation, and we indicate consent by clicking I agree. We now select a destination folder into which the software will be installed. Novice or unfussy users can accept the default by clicking next, although our obsession with order compels us to click browse. And we select a custom installation path in keeping with our organised structure. With the custom installation path defined, we now click next to proceed. From the additional tasks menu, we decline the option to join the customer experience improvement program, then click install to begin the file copying process. Installation is swift and can be monitored using this screen. Upon completion, we can immediately run the program by clicking finish. The main user interface appears. Although there are many capable encryption and decryption tools available, We've chosen Glary Utilities because the suite offers a number of other functions, some of which we will feature in subsequent tutorials. In the background, a web page displays advertising the commercial version of Glary Utilities. As this channel always looks to free solutions wherever possible, we close the background window. We make one change to the default settings in order to prevent Glary Utilities running at startup. This will not affect the ability to run the tools used in this tutorial at any time, but will prevent Glary Utilities taking up additional time and resources at startup. We click Menu, and at the menu which appears, we drop down to Settings and click. The General Settings window appears, and we untick the option to load Glary Utilities automatically on Windows Startup. Of course, if you subsequently find the other aspects of Glary Utilities indispensable, you may wish to allow the application to start with Windows. With the option unticked, we select OK to return to the main window. Now we identify our file for encryption. In our Downloads folder is an Excel spreadsheet detailing our top secret financial matters, and when this file is not in use, we want to keep its content entirely confidential, and accessible only with our password. When we right click, we notice that installing Glary Utilities adds four new items to the context menu. Note also that these options will remain in the context menu, irrespective as to whether or not the main Glary Utilities program is running. We drop down to select the option to encrypt with Glary Utilities, and click, which immediately prompts another appearance from user account control. Once again, we know what we're doing, so we click yes to continue. We are presented with a list detailing the files to be encrypted, and again, we can add further files using the relevant box. We can also select the destination folder for the encrypted file, although we select the default. We are required to enter a password to secure the data, and of course, should we lose that password, decrypting the data will be all but impossible. For that reason, we are asked to input the password a second time for verification, and can add a hint if truly necessary, although to enhance our security, we prefer to leave this field blank and rely solely upon our powers of recall. We click Encrypt Now, and the file encrypts successfully. Our file is now stored behind this padlock. We often delete the file extension, as this gives some clue as to the nature of the content. As XLSX is clearly an Excel spreadsheet, we delete this part of the file name, which has no impact upon the encrypted file. What happens when we double click the file? User account control appears, and we select yes, taking us to the decryption dialog, awaiting password entry. Should we enter the wrong password, we are advised that the attempt has failed and our file remains inaccessible. However, enter the correct password, 
click decrypt now and the file decrypts successfully. Returning to file explorer, our encrypted file remains untouched but it's been joined by the decrypted version. At this juncture, we typically delete the encrypted version to avoid any confusion. We will make any modifications necessary to the decrypted version before re-encrypting it by repeating the encryption process. By this means, your files are afforded a far greater degree of protection, although ensuring good password practices is also important in this regard. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Hopefully you found it useful. If you can provide a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you'd like more, you are very welcome to subscribe to the TechFix Flix YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Subscription is of course entirely free and provides easy access to all of the videos posted here. Clicking on the neighbouring bell icon means you will be notified whenever a new video is posted. You can also keep in touch by following the official TechFixFlix Twitter account. Until your next TechFix, goodbye.